Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. One question everybody wants to know. Who is Xander Zayed? When you're talking about Puerto Rico, people already know the other two stars out of Puerto Rico. You have Amanda Serrano and what she's done for women's boxing. First woman to get a million dollar bag in a boxing match, putting her country on the map. And then you got the IBF champion of the year, Sub-Zero Nomas Tia, Sabril Matias, El Orgulo de Maturnilo. This is probably about the second most avoided fighter in the sport of boxing currently. Everybody knows them. Everybody's wondering who is Xander Zayas. Well, Top Rank pretty much thinks a lot of this guy. They got this guy when he was a teenager. They've been, you know, building him up and, you know, giving him everything, allowing him to grow and develop in his skills and his stature. And they have big plans for him. When you think about Top Rank, man, they might have had their lows with people like Felix Verdejo and the craziness that he went through or, like, I think that they wanted Edgar Belanga to be something that he didn't pan out to be with top rank he since went on and had success with matchroom and he might be barking up the tree for a canelo fight and when you're talking about puerto ricans and rising stars you got to start mentioning xander zaya i think that he is a pretty much a complete fighter i do question like everybody else like all of the strikers everybody that can strike and used to being offensively gifted everybody wants to know does he have a chin? And that's a fair question for most boxing fans. It's sensitive to most sensitive boxing fans, but it's a real deal. I think that's the only question. Now, here he goes getting ready to fight Patrick Teixeira. And a lot of people might not know, it might not ring bells, but that's the guy that fought Brian Castano, in which Brian Castano relieved him of his strap before going over and actually seeing Jamel Charlo for the first undisputed in which Brian Castano arguably won arguably lost like it will end up being a draw and they had to go back and do it again and we know the results with Jamel Charlo ultimately became undisputed however Patrick Tessera was able to get a champion and that's what we're looking for from these young guys former champions things like that now he does have some height he does have some skills because you know as time go along it might be changing as far as how it how it goes to become a champion but he was a champion you want to see the young guys fight former champions and then champions and then you know then they rank but i think top rank thinks that this guy is the next big thing i think he goes upstairs he goes downstairs you know i like that body work he does a lot of that he's very mobile agile lots of energy very exciting you know, you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom or go get no popcorn, nothing like that. You probably want to have your popcorn pop and be seated when he starts the fight because he is electrifying. There's just a couple questions with him coming up. And that's level of competition. But this is a step-up fight where it's a lot of pressure. Can he notch himself in the ranks of Amanda Serrano, in the ranks of uh, Sabrina Matias? Even if you think about Emmanuel Rodriguez, he bounced back after uh, suffering the loss to Noah, yeah, anyway. He lost to a monster. You know, then he went on to do some extravagant things in that ring after that. So, when you're looking at Puerto Rican boxers and you're looking at the landscape, get to know Xander Zayas. You got a fight coming up in a couple days and we're actually going to see what he's all about. Anyway, what do you think about Xander Zayas? Is this a step-up fight? Do you want to see him more? Is he the real deal? Can he be something? Is top rank on to something? All these questions and more. Hit my comment section. Let me know. Anyways, thanks for tuning in here at Body Work Boxing. But we don't take things for face value. We do that body work.